Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back on the road again. Oh, how it feels to be on the road again. Anyway, I left yesterday from home. Went from uh, Pompano Beach, Florida, all the way to Fort Myers. And then from Fort Myers, taking this load that I got now to North Dakota. So a lot of miles, a lot of miles, which is great. I had a good time on my home time, but it was too short. But, you know, it is what it is. I had a lot of fun with my son. Some good quality time with the wife. Miss him already. But anyway, topic of the video, a couple of topics. Let's talk about pay real quick. Now, this goes for every company out there. I'm going to make it real simple for you. When you get your load information on the, on the Qualcomm or whatever, right? And it says uh, how many miles you got on that load. Let's just call it 2,000 miles, right? Make it real simple. Well, if your pay is, hold on, you can sit, situated, oh, oh god, oh god, if your pay, yeah I know lady, sorry, anyway so if your pay is uh, like 27 cents a mile, and your load information says 2,000 miles, so you're, that means your load, you're going to have, uh, hold on, okay, I think that's correct, you're going to have uh, 27 cents a mile times 2,000, so you do 0.27 times 2,000, and that you would figure out your pay for that trip. Now, each account is different, uh, so the pay is different. It just depends on what account you're going to get on. Every company is different. I'm not going to get into dirty details of what I'm getting paid, but let's just say uh, it's obviously not making millions yet. I'll get there one day, hopefully. And uh, generally, every company you go to where you're a student or whatever, you start out around 25, 26, 27 cents a mile uh, average. So, uh, but yeah, so that's how you figure it out. And then it breaks down, you know, you gotta take taxes out, your, your uh, uh, medical benefits and all that good stuff. I mean, once I start training, it'll, it'll be different, you know. I know I've been bouncing around from account to account. When we were teaming, when we teamed for the four weeks that we teamed, we were averaging uh, take home. We were averaging like six, seven hundred dollars a week take home. So being a team driver pays off, but being a trainer is going to pay off even more. So but that's not why I'm doing it. Doing it to, to uh, train drivers how to drive safely. So anyway, let's talk about another quick topic. We'll talk about eight day recap. I'll make it real simple, just like I made the pay thing. Real simple. Uh, um. So I started working yesterday on Tuesday, okay? Make it real simple, Tuesday. So if you manage your hours correctly, so you figure you got 70 hour clock, right? For the whole, for you know, for when your clock starts, you got 70 hours. So if you burn through, you know, do 11 hours of driving today, 11 hours of driving every day, you're gonna burn through your clock in like six and a half days. But if you do, you know, you take it easy, you'll be able to make it to the eighth day. Now, what I mean by that is, so like, so like I said, I started working on uh, Tuesday. So Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, midnight, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, midnight, you will get back whatever hours you worked that first day. So next Wednesday coming up, I will get back whatever hours I worked yesterday. That's the easiest way for me to explain it. When you guys go to uh, your truck driving school and stuff like that, They'll, you'll be able to do it on paper and you'll be able to visualize it. Um, 
that's basically it. It's not hard. Not a hard concept. Whatever you guys work, well, on the eighth day you'll get back whatever you worked on that first day you're driving. The ninth day you'll get back the second day, and so forth and so on. And that's how a lot of guys drive for weeks and weeks and weeks without having to do a 34-hour reset. So it's called managing your hours. Uh, another quick update. Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday, a week from today, uh, I'll be in, um, I'm supposed to be in Springfield, Ohio to uh, do the two-day uh, training course on how to become a trainer or whatever, the, the, the need to knows and all that good stuff. So that's where I'm hopefully going to be on Wednesday. And obviously you'll be taking videos and all that good stuff about that. Um, what else? What else? Um, so yeah, so I left yesterday morning Fort Myers. And I was like, man, it's 2,500 miles from Fort Myers to North Dakota. And I'm a solo driver. And I'm like, how the heck am I going to make it to... Oh, I'm supposed to be there by Friday morning. So how am I going to make it Tuesday and make it there by Friday? 2,500 miles. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to, you know, burn up my hours, you know, these couple of days to get there on time. But I said, you know what, I stopped yesterday in the afternoon and I started driving last night at midnight so that I could drive through the night. That way there's less traffic. So, you know, when you get long trips like this as a solo driver, you want to make sure you can, you know, power through it and, uh, you know, chew up your hours so that way you can keep the trip, keep the load, so that way they don't split it on you. Um, 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 I'm tired, man. I've been dry. I've worked hard today. It's, uh, one o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's raining. I'm in Tennessee. I drove my whole 11 hours last night, this morning, this afternoon, whatever you want to call it. I did, I think I did like some record time. I did like, like almost 750 miles in an 11 hour span. I did not stop. I stopped once to get fuel and coffee, and that was it. I just kept on going. Kept on going. I stopped maybe for like five minutes to pee real quick. That was it. I just kept on rocking and rolling. So, you know, got to get there. It's got to be there by Friday. But anyway, that's about it, guys. Um, and another quick thing in the description box is going to be the link to... Uh, the uh, Show Us Your Ride, Show Us Your Pride thing, if you haven't already voted yet. If you have voted, please send a link to your friends so they can vote and all that good stuff. The more the merrier. I um, wouldn't mind going to Vegas and representing the company and representing myself and my nice truck. And plus, we get to see a lot of cool videos, too. So, yeah, help me out with that. <clears throat> and that's it. I'm going to go lay down, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and go to bed. Because i got to get up again around 11-ish. 11 o'clock and start driving again. Crank it out again. And then crank it on Friday until the load gets there. And then baby my way back to Ohio, hopefully. So, th with that being said, thanks for tuning in to the Little Guy Trucker Show! Ah! So please don't mind me, I'm really exhausted. Really, it's, and it's cold, man. I'm up here in Tennessee, it's like 50 degrees. I just came from Florida where it's 100 degrees. <sighs> it's crazy weather. But anyway, that's about it. So, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Y'all be breezy now. Yeah. Little Guy Trucker Show. See you next time. Yeah.